Ms. Alvarez, did you speak with him, Conrad Murray, on June 25th of 2009? Yes. Do you recall the conversation? Yes. Was it a brief conversation? Yes. What did he tell you? I remember him telling me I, um, that he was on the way to the hospital in the ambulance with Mr. Jackson and for me not to be alarmed because that he didn't want me to be worried because he knew that it would I would learn this through the news. And you'd be upset. Yeah. And did you also receive phone calls from Conrad Murray later that afternoon? For example, 3.58 p.m., 4.31 p.m., 4.32 p.m., and 5.02 p.m.? I don't remember if I received phone calls or if I was calling him at that time. There was a lot. A lot going on. Yeah. Did you recall or do you recall that you spoke with him during uh, the afternoon time of June 25th of 2009? For example, were you able to reach him? I, I don't remember if I was able to reach him or not. I don't remember. At some point later that day, did Conrad Murray arrive back at your apartment in Santa Monica? Yes. Do you know how he arrived there? No. He just basically showed up? Yes. May I have a moment? You may. Thank you, Ms. Alvarez. I have no further questions. Ms. Brazil, thank you. Cross-examination by the defense. No question, Your Honor. Gorgian? All right, thank you. Ms. Brazil, uh, Mr. Gorgian, may Ms. Alvarez step down and be excused subject to recall, Ms. Brazil? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Gorgian? Yes. Thank you. Ms. Alvarez, I want to thank you for your testimony. 